Welcome back to Truly Force Free Animal Training. So today I want to teach you about a game that I love to play with my dogs. Uh, I have played this for years with my dogs and I had a Jack Russell um, went puppy one year when it rained a lot and they needed a way to stimulate him mentally and physically. So I, can't, I started teaching this game and I call it Find It. Many of you might have a version of Find It. Um, with Find It for me, I find a toy that I'm going to make as the Find It toy. So I might use something like this. Usually I use something soft. I might rub scents of treats on here, different kinds of smells so it has a little bit more of a treat smell. And then what I do is I put my dogs in a bedroom or a different room or their crates and I put this toy maybe in the middle of my living room or in the middle of my backyard and then I send them out and I say find it. At first they don't even know what they're find looking for but usually if it's in the middle of the room or the middle of the yard they run to it because it's obvious and they run to it and when they find it I reinforce them. I get them treats and I tell them they're great job and then I take it away and then I put them back and we do that a couple times. Really obvious places at first. Start in the middle of the yard. Once they really know what they're looking for, I might put it on a couch or on a bench in the backyard. Something where they can still see it but it's just in a different location. And once they really know what they're looking for, I might hide the toy so half of it might be under a pillow or a blanket um, or behind a brick so that it was still partially visible, but not completely visible. Once I know that they know this is what they're looking for, I start making them use their nose. So I might put it in that room and have it completely covered where they can't see it at all, but it's not in a super hard place, something that's a little bit familiar. So maybe I put the pillow or blanket completely covering it, but it's in the same place that they had found it when it was partially covered. And then once they master that, then I might start moving it to different rooms uh, in parts of the house or parts of the yard so they really have to start navigating using their nose to find it. And I find that when the dogs get to use their nose and they're running around, they're having a great time, it helps them use their brain and they're getting physically active. So it's a really great game. It's a great game for uh, dogs who can't go on walks or maybe they're injured and they can't really run but they can trot around a little bit. Um, older dogs or you know, dogs that can't walk because of aggression issues or fear. Um, or if you are unable to walk your dog, this is a great way to give them some of that um, mental and physical stimulation that they need to be happy, healthy um, dogs. So uh, give it a try and let me know what you think about Find It. I have Scout hiding in the house right now, waiting to show her to demonstrate this Find It. So this is my Find It toy, and it has some treats rubbed on it so it'll smell really good. I'm sure she's gonna run straight out of the house and run right to the Find It toy. So I'm going to just go get her, and then we'll have she'll come running out. And when she finds it, which will be obvious and easy find, uh, then I'm going to click and give her a treat so she knows she did the right thing. We're going to do this a couple times and then eventually I will hide the treat in or the toy in more um, inconspicuous places. But this is how you're going to start find it for your dog. Find it! Find it. Find it. Find it. Good girl. 